I sung a lot of praises to the MSI Pro Z690A back when I reviewed it a while back. So when I heard that MSI also released a B660 version of this board, well, I knew I just had to look into it. And well, it does not disappoint. And at a price of $150, it's actually fairly competitive for a B660 board. And it fits in nicely pricing wise between the ASUS Prime B660 and also the Gigabyte B660 Gaming X motherboard. Both of these boards I covered on the channel before, so if you aren't tired of my voice just yet, then make sure to check those out up in iCards as well. Anyway, starting off with PCIe expansion, this B660 board walks in confidently but very safely with just one PCIe 16X Gen 4 slot, another physical 16X but electrical 4X 3.0 slot and in addition three PCE 1X slots so you have tons of expansion there at your disposal not to mention two wait really only two and not two slots yes that's right you can only have two NVMe drives on this board competitive three on the gaming X and Asus Prime boards we've covered here before okay okay yes I know in practice there are actually three M.2 slots on this mobile board because you also have one tiny e-keyed one that's intended for a Wi-Fi module. So if that's your jam then this board has you covered in the Wi-Fi department. Thankfully CPU power is a lot more clear cut. Compared to both the Gaming X and Asus Prime this board absolutely kills it when it comes to feeding your CPU enough juice seeing how it has both an 8 pin and a 4 pin connector while those two other boards only have an 8 pin each. Yes that's right even the Gaming X which costs more has an 8 pin. And while the actual VRM situation isn't the best, seeing how it is a B660 board, MSI still apparently offer 12 FETs underneath a beefy heatsink to keep your CPU fed. And apparently that VRM solution is doing a mighty good job looking at these benchmark results from TechSpot. And when it comes to rear IO, things are also looking mighty fine for this board. This board has six USB type A ports, which should be enough for most people. And only four of them are USB Gen 2. Add to that a USB type C. And when it comes to video outputs from the integrated graphics on your CPU, you have the choice of HDMI, DisplayPort, and even VGA if for some reason you want it. I know that most of you aren't going to use it, but for a few crazy people that will, hey, it's great that it's here just in case. So overall, for 150 bucks, this thing is pretty strong, and it completely embarrasses the Asus Prime B660 Plus, which costs just $10 less. So my advice would be to just go with this one compared to that one. Just save those extra $10, you'll be much happier with this thing. And while that comparison is pretty clear cut, between this and the slightly more expensive gaming X, well, it's a more of a you win some, you lose some situation. The boards are fairly similar. And for most people, I'll just recommend going with this board, because unless you just need all those glorious, glorious USB Type A ports that Gigabytes shoves into the rear area of their other boards, then honestly isn't too much special about that board. Plus, unlike with the Gigabyte board, here on the Starship MSI, you also get an optical spin-off port, which is completely absent from the Gigabyte B660 Gaming X. So while it certainly isn't the best B660 board, I think I'd still give that price to the Aorus Master. This is still amazing for only $150. So if you want a good board to be at the center of your B660 build, then this board is definitely one you should be adding to your cart right now. And if you want to buy this or any other B660 board, then make sure to use our Amazon links down in the video description below. Because then you don't pay anything extra while we get some money, so it's a win win. If you want to support the channel in other ways, we also have a merch store and also our Patreon. And even just one singular dollar a month truly goes a long way where you get awesome perks as well. And I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Brian, LKB, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, Comic Edge Clothing and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much. Support truly goes a long way. Down there, you're also going to find our Discord server if you don't talk to me others at this or whatever else really. Plus, down there are social media links as well but anyway that's what right. it's i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then remember to subscribe like whatever and see you all in whatever i make next goodbye everyone good bye